Hello guys, welcome back to this tutorial. Well, um, today I decided to make this out of frame um, tutorial. So this is gonna be the end result and let's begin. The first image we're gonna be using is gonna be this one. So this, this is gonna be our stock image. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer. So just go to create new layer and I'm going to fill this with black. So I'm just gonna click Alt and Backspace. Make sure your colors is foreground to black and background to white. So press Alt Backspace to fill that with black. Then go to the stock image and duplicate it. Control J. We're gonna duplicate this two times. So duplicate it one more time. And we're going to move these two images on top of that black layer. I'm gonna disable the second one by clicking on the eye icon and I'm gonna have visible the first one. So what I'm gonna do next is click on the first one to have it selected. Then I'm, I'm gonna go to the rectangular marquee tool and I'm gonna make a rectangle. Just like this. I'm gonna let go and I'm gonna right click and I'm going to select transform selection. So we are going to transform this selection to make it look more 3D. So I'm just gonna get the top corner, but first I'm going to right click it and choose perspective. Then I'm going to go to the corner, top corner, and I'm going to move that just like this. Then I'm gonna go to the bottom one and open that just like that i'm going to right click it again and select free transform and move this like around where the nose is just like that i'm going to click the tick button or just click ok so once you have this click on the layer mask um, thumbnail and we are going to have this once you have that let's make a new layer click create new layer and we're gonna have a blank layer we are going to name this layer a stroke so once we have that let's press control key and click on the thumbnail layer mask to make that selection and let's go with uh, edit a stroke we're gonna put 20 pixels and right here we're gonna change the color to white click ok oh don't for in the location make sure you put uh, the outside option and click ok and we're gonna have this stroke around the uh, square you can put less pixels or more pixels it's up to you I put 20 if you want a thin line put 10 or if you want a thicker line put more than 20 so once we have this I'm going to control D to deselect and now I'm going to make it visible the second stock image by clicking the eye icon so now I'm going to press control key and click on the stroke thumbnail to see the selection and I'm gonna click back to the background copy tree so I'm gonna go with the face first I'm going to select the pen tool and I'm gonna start selecting from here so just select the face You might be asking yourself why I have this selection selected. Well, I have it selected because I want to see where I'm going to start the pen stroke lines and where I'm going to stop it. So it's just like a guide. So I'm going to stop this line or this stroke around here and I'm going to unite these lines the pen to line so once I have 
once I have this I'm going to control D to deselect that selection and I'm going to right click and select make selection and on further I'm going to put one pixel click OK so once you have this selected click on add layer mask and like you see we have the face selected so next let's go with the arms so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to click the shift key and I'm going to click on the mask layer thumbnail to hide the mask layer and control key and click on the stroke thumbnail to make the selection and see where I'm gonna start making the lines so I'm going to start making the line from here and I'm going to select that arm and I'm going to end the line around here I'm going to put together these two lines and I'm going to click Control and D to deselect that selection I'm going to press right click I'm going to right click it and make selection feather one pixel and OK now I'm going to click on the layer mask thumbnail to enable it and like you can see the arm disappears but we have the selection now we are we are going to paint that with white to make that arm visible and I'm going to press alt backspace to make that arm visible so like you can see we have the arm visible and on the layer mask it appears a white selection I'm going to press ctrl D to deselect next I'm going to the other arm and we're gonna do the same Go, uh, press shift key and click on the thumbnail layer max to hide that and press control key and click on the stroke thumbnail to make the selection visible to see where are we going to start to make the lines and I'm going to start to make the line from there once again press ctrl d to deselect right click make selection ok and click on the layer mask thumbnail to make it visible once again and alt backspace to make the arm appear and like you can see we already have this effect like a 3d pop out effect so i hope you understand this tutorial very well and if you have any questions don't forget to comment below uh, subscribe if you haven't and share this video with your friends if you think it will be useful for them well guys thank you and see you next time bye bye